watching Ride the Teacups, we got invited by Getaway Today as an exclusive group of 16,000 YouTube Disney creators to show off you some hotels we have here in the Disneyland area. And right now, and right now only, there is a promo code of promo code that's going to save you an extra 50 bucks that is only good if you contact them before this Monday, that's September 9th, and mention Ride the Teacups along with the promo code down in the description, Boo50. First stop on our tour is the Desert Palm Hotel and Suites in Anaheim. Let's check it out. Yeah, we are at the Desert Palms Hotel and Suites in their awesome suite. Check this out. This is incredible. Love seeing the big bathtub that's there with the bow out far double beds up here with the elephant are you kidding me that's super cool big tv lots of storage space we love seeing the nice deep drawers of course it has the safe down here watch your step step on down to where you can all have breakfast together as a family enjoy some tv in a family room over here with the great views outside i love the shutters that they have on here so cool at walking out like Desert Palms Inn and Suites. This is the awesome deluxe studio. Check it out. Don't bring this down the Jungle Cruise though. The Desert Palms Inn and Suites also has this awesome kids room. We've still got elephants. I'm still not taking them with me on the Jungle Cruise. Nice king size bed in the side here. Same bathtub as the other one with the single sink here and the huge mirror, which I'm always a big fan of. A separated room, y'all. This is pretty cool. Of course, your refrigerator and a microwave, which we love to see there. Extra deep drawers down here as well, and the bunk beds, keeping the kids separated so that their noise can stay in here. You know it's going to stay out there. We've got a pretty neat view of the courtyard over here, too, with those shutters that I still love. It's the kids suite at the Desert Inn and Palm Suites. Desert Palms Inn and Suites also has a free breakfast in the morning. Love getting free breakfast this close to Disneyland. Not something everybody around here does. So obviously breakfast is over at this point. They are very kind and letting us check stuff out. It looks like they've got some hot food, some waffle makers, awful lot of cold food. There's some fresh fruit still out there. Seating indoors, seating outdoors. It is a million degrees, so I will be inside today, but it's nice that it has the option of being there. Lots of juice, water, milk, all those things that you'd normally expect the breakfast to have as well. Not only do they have outdoor seating for their breakfast area here upstairs, but being on the top floor here at the Desert Palm Inn and Suites, you are eating your breakfast right outside of the Avengers Campus. There's the Guardians Tower over there. Cars land right over here. I can see soaring off in the distance. What a cool way to start your day and get people amped for Disneyland. Also got a pretty neat courtyard area pool. Also got a fitness center inside of here with the ellipticals, treadmills, and weights that you'd normally expect. It's in the lobby right here next to this awesome kids area where you can sit and relax, wait for your check-in, have the kids cool off and things before you're ready to go to the parks for the day. The lobby itself is very large and grand. Great place to sit down and relax. I see some water stations over there with food injection inside of them. I don't do matching shirts either, Mickey. I'm right with you. We are checking out the Element by Weston. My goodness, are you kidding, y'all? Y'all, this lobby is something else. Super cool, along with their breakfast eating area. Check this out, this is cool. Great space, I love seeing the benches, not just the chairs. All right, and for the rooms, y'all, can you even believe it? This is a standard room. What, with all of this crazy stuff inside of here, dishwasher, full kitchen inside. Great sized closet, my goodness gracious. Love seeing all of the room that you've got for your storage. Big old microwave. It's going to come with some Pyrex. I love some Pyrex. Great spot to put down your computer. Anything else that you need to sit. And it's a sleeper sofa that goes around the corner and the standard two queens as well. Love seeing the big end table here on the end. That's got to be real nice, especially for parents. Big dream drawers. Ooh, Gideon's been here. And then the big bathroom with a shower. My goodness, this walk-in shower is enormous, isn't it? One sink up here. Lots of hooks for your towels and other types of things that you need to dry off if you're using the pool. Of course, a hair dryer and, you know, there's that guy too. It's a standard room. It's standard. That's crazy. Oh, and I love this. Stickers for the door to let them know what your status is. 
Now, if you need a little bit more space, this is the one bedroom suite. I love the countertop. My goodness, we had that at a different hotel. Game changer. This is also the suite here at the Element that's going to give you the full size fridge instead of the mini fridge. This is the way to get it. Of course, it's got the kitchen area, all of the uh, plates, bowls, silverware things that you're gonna need inside of here. Great living space. That is also a pull-out couch that you'll have there. And then with some separation, you also have the main bedroom. This has got another two queens, so it's going to sleep up to six. Closet there in the side. And then the bathroom is going to be very similar to the one that we just saw in the standard. Big, huge, enormous walk-in shower. Big, big mirror with one sink. That guy's still there. And if you have an even larger potty, you can adjoin this and have 12 people in here instead of just six. If you have an enormous party going to Disney. What a great place to set up. This is the suite with the full fridge. You also have the option of a bunk bed suite, which is pretty cool. All of the couches are going to pull out the beds. You got the cool bunk beds with the individual lights. Y'all know I love the individual on the bunk bed. Nice TV area in here for the kids along with some bar stools. Those are cool. Love the bar stools. Another full kitchen inside of here just like you're going to find just about all of these rooms. You have the microwave, the fridge. That's a big fridge. My goodness gracious. Stove top of course. Ooh, this one's got a toaster. Fridge, the mini fridge. It does have a freezer section. Big deal. And then the adult side of the suite is going to have one king bed. Nightstands on both sides. I love that. With outlets on both sides. I love that. I'm surprised how many people don't put end tables and power stations at the end of both beds. TV here just for the adults. And the big, huge closet that you've seen in the other styles of rooms like this. With, of course, the safe that's down here as well. It's nice to see the separation between the parents' area and the kids' area. It's very cool. And then right in the middle of them is the bathroom. Hello, I tried to get out of the way and couldn't. Single sink, big, huge vanity area for everything that you need because this suite sleeps up to six. That guy. And the big walk-in shower that we've become accustomed to here at the Element so far with, of course, all the amenities mounted to the wall. Love seeing the big, huge walk-in showers in the spaces. All right, we've got another one of our bunk bed suites. Bunk bed suites, if I can talk correctly. This is going to be largely the same layout, same bunk bed, same bathroom. However, we get here into the adults area. They have it not just in the single king, but also in a two queen variety. That big chirp is also the ADA sensor to let you know when someone is actually at your door. This is an accessible room. It has the ability to let people know when they're knocking for anyone with those impairments. So the element is going to be very accessibility minded as well. And this is literally every other Disney YouTuber on the planet. Now the element is gonna have an awful lot of very cool amenities. By the way, if you're booking with Getaway today, you will save an extra $7 off your parking. Make sure that you're good with that. And you can even get an early check-in at 1 p.m. if you want. In addition to that, you can get a free breakfast. Let's see if we can sneak in while no one's looking and see the breakfast room. Yes. Shh, don't tell anybody this is our secret. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Looks like you have an enormous wraparound area. They've had some Greek yogurt, butter, cream cheese, oatmeal station with all of the fixings, y'all. That is awesome. Love seeing that. Some agave, some honey, some syrup, all of the jellies and jams, pancake makers, lots of breads, turkey, sausage, potatoes. So you've got some hot food, some cold food, fajita mixed with veggies. And I'm told that they are very sensitive to allergies, any type of other needs, dietary restrictions that you have. So gluten-free, anything vegan, dairy-free, all of those types of things are accommodated here in their free breakfast area. Man, my family especially, I love hearing that. Plus, Cheerios, fill up a bag, take it to the park. Yeah, boy. And they're clearly labeled. There's the fajita mix, which is going to be vegetarian and gluten-free and vegan. And the corn mix, which also is labeled as such. Pretty cool. All right, let's sneak out before anybody notices that we came in here. 
And remember, y'all, if you are looking to book now, and I mean like now, now, you can use the code BOO50, that's B-O-O-5-0, with Getaway Today, in addition to the lowest rates, in addition to the discount parking, in addition to save even more money by telling them right the teacup sent you, Boo 50 will save you yet another 50 bucks off of any of the hotels we're showing you here in this video. Oh my goodness, y'all. Do you understand why we partner with Getaway today? Make sure you give them a call, 855-GETAWAY. The link is always down in the description below the videos. I mean, are you kidding me? Those are cool light pictures. Call 855-GET-AWAY, they will help you stay and save. Mention Ride the Teacups too, and they'll save money just for you. Look at this. This is Mickey's This Way. Everybody, Mickey's This Way. Next up on our Grand Circle Tour is the Suncoast Park Hotel. Is that a full bar? Sorry, tour guys, I'm gonna stay here for now. See ya in a few hours. Lots of tables, undoubtedly for breakfast dining. You even get to hang out with Sir Mickey. Yes. <laughs> so, so, like, this is very intriguing. Yes. So, uh, inside the rooms, you're really going to enjoy this place, too. You have the bathroom right off of the entryway. Big, huge mirror, single sink, of course. That guy. You also have the shower that's here. Again, the boat out bar. Nice looking shower. I like the different color tones in there. Cool artwork up on the walls and a backsplash. That's cool. I haven't seen that in a bathroom for a little while in a hotel. Big, huge, full size mirror. I didn't get out of the way in time. What in the world is this? Oh my goodness, they hide away their microwave and presumably their fridge. So it's out of the way, out of sight. So nice. There is a little freezer compartment inside of here. It's a smaller size fridge. That was very loud. Whoops. Artwork on the walls, some really cool. Everything in here is beach themed, by the way, at this hotel. Each floor is actually named after a different beach and themed after a different beach. I thought that was pretty cool. Two queens here in this room, power stations on both sides with the nightstand. You do have power outlets here. Actually, a double set of power outlets. Goodness, I don't have time to count the power outlets on this whirlwind tour, but that's super cool. And power outlets on the side of the bed. And then the view from up above with no construction down below. So you get a great view out this size window. Nice area to put on your desk, anything else that it is that you need. And the enormous and deep drawers. So many power outlets. I'm so excited. And the closet hanging out here by the door with your hangers has an ironing board and an iron. If you're looking for a little bit more space, we have the king size suite in here. And oh my goodness, that is an enormous TV. Nice sitting area, living room, the chair, the couch. Enormous TV. Let me find out real quick. Does this couch pull out? Yes. It does pull out. I very, very cool. Love the artwork and the paint colors. This is not a boring room, y'all. This is fantastic. Love the desk area, of course, the hidden microwave and fridge that you saw there before. The bathroom is going to be equally nice. Again, I love the colors. I keep talking about the colors. I don't know why. The colors here are just so much more bold than we're used to seeing in the bathroom. Super cool. Big ginormous mirror, single sink here in the suite as well. Closet is in the middle, which is much nicer, right across from the bathroom. That was well thought out. I like that. The big deep drawers that I love, the outlets on both sides of the bed that I love, the artwork that's super cool, and way, way too much space for your luggage and storage and other things you may have. Strollers will fit in here if you need to have accessibility issues. Those would fit inside of here. What a great view as well. I also have an enormous fitness room. Treadmills, electrical. Pelotons, my goodness. You can lift, you do your bike, lift your weights, dumbbells in the corner. And of course, the towel stations in the side. How cool is this room, y'all? We've got board games, there's cribbage, there is a serious game of Connect 4, some beanbags over here, a Wii system, so you've got video games too. 
the big TV, of course, all of the Disney graphics and characters, more than a few beanbag chairs, and a nice comfy couch, and a gimbal that won't spin the way it's supposed to. The pool area is pretty swinging. You got some ping pong tables out here, awesome cornhole to play. There's a bus over there if you really want to take a spin. No, I don't think you're allowed to do that. But Yeehaw doing that. Another game of Connect Four out here. And let's check out the actual pool. I don't want to hang out too much because there are people in the pool, so I'm hanging back a little bit. But you also have a shower to wash off with when you're done. Now, as cool as this property is, there are a couple of things you should know. First off, parking is normally 40 bucks, and the breakfast that's included is going to be 15 to 20 bucks per person. But there's good news. You see, you're a Ride the Teacup subscriber, so you, friends, get free parking every single night. You also get free breakfast every single morning for everyone in your party. That is an incredible savings here at this hotel, courtesy of Getaway Today. Make sure you're calling our friends at Getaway Today, who's showing you all of these hotels through us. You can find them at 855-GETAWAY. Make sure to use two coupon codes, two coupon codes. First, let them know, right? The teacup sent you. You'll save a few extra bucks on top of their already low rates, on top of the already free breakfast, on top of the already free parking. And then in addition to that, if you are booking before this Monday, that is September 9th, 2024, make sure to also tell them the coupon code BOO50, B-O-O-5-0, to save another 50 bucks off of your price. That is not an advertised sale. That's just for you because you hang out with us at Ride the Teacups. Save that money, y'all. Save that money. Now we are at the Fairfield and I'm Mary Hunt and you are gonna like this. See, because there's the monorail, that's where the fireworks are gonna be, and it's Vicky! At the Fairfield, they have these awesome Disney-inspired rooms. This is pretty sweet, it's a bit of an upgrade. Love the theming. Every single room at the Fairfield here has a pull-out chair. This has two queens, you can also find orientations with a king instead, if that's your fancy. Got the outlets here by the bed. Like seeing the desk area here. Nice TV. I see deep drawers. Love seeing those. Over here in the bathroom area has the nice barn door. Ooh, I vanished. No, I didn't. There's the ironing board. Closet does not close, but you get a lot of hanger space. I really like seeing that. Coffee maker. Inside here, you do have a large size safe and a fridge in the room. It does have a small freezer compartment. Single sink on the vanity. Nice tub with the pull-out bar. Has one of those too. Nice place to hang your towels. I'm always surprised when places don't have a space to hang their towels. Really cool mirror in order to get ready for the day. And this is an upgraded fireworks room. So several of the rooms for an extra charge also have views of the fireworks each night. This is a super close room to the parks. You'll be able to see Matterhorn Mountain right here and everything that happens over the, over the park. All right, y'all, the Mickey that's down here on the bottom is just way too cool because it's awesome. You know what else is awesome? That's a pretty neat pool area with a jacuzzi over there in the parking lot area too. And that's Space Mountain, but it's closed. It's really nice. They have where everything can be found right here on the elevator, including an awesome game room and fitness center that I unfortunately cannot show you because we're not going to visit level three, but it's pretty epic. Here's Mickey! Now, a neat thing about the Fairfield, in addition to Mickey hanging out here behind me, is that almost every room they have is connected. 90% of the rooms are connected. If you've got a bigger party, get those connecting rooms. That's pretty cool. It's king to king, queen to queen, king to queen, everything in between. Whatever bed orientation you need, they have those connecting options for you. As an example, we have this set up here. Again, it has that pull-out uh, chair. That's called a chair. All of the rooms here have a pull-out chair. Double queens, same setup like we saw up in the other room there. Same mirror that I didn't get out of the way of in time. So you've seen a lot of the similar layouts for all of these different rooms they've got. Same shower, same toilet, same layout. However, I can show you the connection. It's pretty nice. It does lock from both sides, so you don't have any security issues, of course. 
can walk right in. Kids hanging out in this room while you get your privacy. Enjoy a date night. This one is also a standard room. So you notice a lot of the theming and things are not here. No murals on the wall, things like that. Still has a great setup and amenities in each of these rooms. We're almost through, but before we go, here's the Castle Inn and Suites. This looks pretty cool. And that looks like Disneyland. We really like these hotels that are right here on Harbor Boulevard, right across the street from Disneyland. It's a very short walk. Now this is the whole vibe here at the Castle Inn and Suites. You are looking around, there's an awful lot of cars parked here for free. The parking is free at the Castle Inn and Suites. That's amazing. Also no resort fees. They say they don't believe in hidden fees. You just want to know what it is that you're paying for. That's pretty neat. This thing is family owned. It's a husband and wife team. And the husband's father built the hotel 50 years ago. Make sure you ask about getting a crown when you check in. It's generally if you're celebrating a special event, birthdays, things like that, or if they just see you've got some littles, check out the crown. It's so cool. The Castle Inn and Suites has a two queen bedroom here. We are looking at a great, that's a really nice table actually. Lamp. Looks very fancy. Actually, I'm kind of impressed, genuinely. So, mirror to get ready for in the day, nice desk area. The power outlets for the desk are going to be in the lamp. Looks like there's just the one. We do have the TV, microwave, fridge. Inside the fridge, we do not have a freezer section in this mini fridge. Drawers, of course. The dress room area. Closet area. with the boat out bar, shower tub combo, and of course, that's there. Single sink, but a huge, huge vanity with a couple of swans. Aww. Coffee maker is hanging out in here. Lots of rooms under here and on the side for your luggage as well. Here between, we have some power outlets and USB in between the beds on the clock, but no actual outlets here next to the bed. There's a few more there underneath there. We also have suites in the Castle Inn and Suites, thus the name. This has a king and two queens. So right here, we've got the two swans kissing. Already established, I like that. Nice king bed, power outlets on the side. Do we have power, ooh, do we have power outlets over here? I'm not seeing any eyes. Couldn't ask about that one as we go. Same setup here. We have the microwave, the fridge, and the fridge does not have a freezer section. Nice TV, the nice drawers that are sitting here. Nice. I like the depth of the table too. I like being able to do that. As the guy who makes a whole bunch of videos, I have a computer. I make a mess out of the desk, so I like the deep desk. Bathroom area here in between the two areas. That's here. We also have the shower. It looks like the same basic shower setup as the other one. Single sink, more swans. Can you feel the love tonight? Because there are two swans kissing and two queen beds here. This is actually separated by a door, which is really nice. So again, some privacy. This, oh my, oh, I love this, y'all. I love this. A second sink to get ready in the morning while someone else is using that restroom. I love it. More deep drawers, a second table in here, so you have even more counter space if that's something that's really important to you. Its own set of towels and everything up here, light bar, another chair for your makeup and everything, and then the closet looks very grand. And of course, it's just a uh, closet, but you know. They gave me a cookie, so now I'm sugared up and singing about it. So. The inn and the suites. The lobby in here is pretty awesome too, guys. And last but certainly not least, y'all, this is the Cambria. What can I get you, Steve? I would love a, uh, sorry, it took me a second, a lava flow, please. Lava flow. Uh, I will do the lava flow. Yeah. 
Cambria also has this amazing breakfast area. This is actually where I'm staying, so I've had breakfast a few times. It's usually not on haunted house mode. We get the pleasure of seeing that, but you have lots of hot food, lots of cereal, huge oatmeal station, fresh fruit, lots of waffle makers, including Nikki's face that you saw in the previous shot. They have some chicken sausage, pork sausage, we've had bacon, we've had scrambled eggs, there's lots of juice and water stations, and the coffee pancake makers over here, and folks, it just keeps going. I have really enjoyed the breakfast that I've had here at the Cambria so far, and they have an enormous dining room, which is also in haunted house mode at the moment, which has not been the case in, the, in any of the other times I've been here. I love not just this breakfast area, but the fact that they have refill stations and trash cans and things all over the place to help you manage the trash. You have this enormous pool area. You see all the water slides in the background. There's a splash pad for your littles in the back over here. And off to the side, we have a sports area. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just jumped in the middle of your putting green because they have a putting green. Awesome, as you connect for there's a basketball court back here and some ping pong. Are you kidding? Make sure you check the pool hours as you come and go. Thank you. They've also got movies out on the pool deck as well. All right, we're checking out the rooms next here at the Cambria. This is a standard room. Standard rooms are going to have two queen beds. You have the big center in between with two pairs of power outlets, one on each side of the bed, along with an individually controlled light, so that when each party is ready to go to bed, they can go ahead and do that. Over here on the far side of the room, we have a microwave, a mini fridge. The mini fridge does not have a freezer compartment in the back. Pull out drawers for your included coffee, tea, and whatever else you need that almost rhymed. There's a light here, and I have no idea where it goes. Anyway. Ooh, okay. Right. And the closet with the safe here in the extra hanger areas. Pretty neat. That slides. Don't try to open it like I did. It will hurt your finger. <laughs> the little desk area here, along with some power right by the TV. Sides on each side of the bed for your extra luggage and the bathroom area. Every bathroom here at the Cambria has two showers. Are you kidding? You're coming here with kids. This is a lifesaver. I love it. So this is just a shower. It's a deep shower, but it's just a shower where this one is a shower and tub combo. So if you've got little kids or if your feet hurt just as badly as mine do right now, you can get that tub and go. I did not get out of the way of that in time. The buttons for the mirror, though, are on the mirror. Bluetooth, so you can control the music in the bathroom, volume up and down, single sink, and all the towels you can possibly handle. Full-sized mirror so that you can look more studly than I do on a regular basis. And your nice footstool to sit on the standard room at the Cambria. This is the two queen suite that we have here as well. Your living area is going to consist of a pull-out couch and the nice table here, good sized television and the near full kitchen. There's no stove top, but there is a full fridge, sink, microwave, all of the fixings. This is not going to include things like your silverware bowls and plates because it doesn't have that stove top, but it's nice to be able to store everything in the fridges. I love that. Also comes with its own table and chairs. You need chairs too. I've been really enjoying that. This is the type of room that I'm staying in right now. We've also got two queen beds here in the side. Full size mirror here in the bedroom so you can get ready along with that same footstool that we saw earlier. And over here in the closet, open up one side, open up one side, and the light in the center turns on. You've got the safe up above and the same type of hanger setup that you've seen in previous room. Along the side of the queen beds here, you also have this bathroom. I mentioned before, all the bathrooms here at the Cambry have two showers, two showers. These are going to be identical to the previous room. Big, huge shower inside of here. 
and the tub shower combo out here. There's also a dividing door. I don't know if I showed you this in the previous room. It was there. There's a dividing door that you can use to separate the spaces along with a single sink. So if somebody can get ready and brush teeth out here while somebody else is showering out in there or doing whatever else you do inside of here. So here it is, the two queen room, two queen suite in the Cambria. And this here is going to be the one king bedroom suite ending out our tour. Y'all, we have saved the best for last. I don't know if I can say that because we've seen a lot of great hotels and great rooms within them. But this is the one that I am staying at, folks. I am so amazed. This is their same table and chair setup you saw in the other room. I apologize, I set my drink down. A pull-out couch that's here, the same TV that we saw in the previous room. And we have this, it is a king and a pair of bunk beds. It has a third trundle bed that pulls out underneath. This sleeps a million people. No, it actually doesn't. It sleeps two in the queen, two in the king out here three over here so you get seven different people in this room this is the same closet setup that we have in the previous room it has the same closet uh the safe the hangers the ironing board and iron and all of that type of thing that you're used to lights up when you open it the big tv that's in here lots of hooks to be able to hang on to your jackets your hat backpack the full-sized mirror so that when you get ready today you can look a whole lot better than this guy <laughs> The door, of course, is over here. You do have end tables on each side. You don't, you don't know how big of a deal that is for me, having those end tables with power on each side. I love it. This is gonna be the same bedroom, or uh, bathroom. This is a bathroom. This will be the same bathroom that we saw in the two queen unit as well. Two showers, because every room here at the Cambry has two showers. That thing. And the same mirror and single sink setup that we saw in the previous rooms, but with a king bed and three different bunk beds separating door between the two. You can get attaching rooms if you have friends, different types of rooms attached to other different types of rooms. The dedicated light specifically for this space, so if you don't want to bother anybody else and you're just working here like I've been doing, you can have that set up too. Y'all, this is an incredible room and I absolutely love it here at the Cambria. Now, one extra thing I really like about the Camry is they are so security-minded. I really love it. I came back here the next day to go out and review the pool a little bit more in depth, and I forgot my wristband. And the security guy stopped me and would not let me pass, even though I'm here hosted by them specifically to review it. That's not a complaint, guys. I'm a big fan of that. They take their security really seriously. Here, you have to use your room key to get on the elevator for every single floor in addition to your room, and that includes the parking garage, and there are security noses everywhere. It doesn't feel like an unsafe location. I just really appreciate the reminders and the, really just the dedication they have to making sure that your family has the best trip you possibly can. So when you're ready to visit my friends Mickey and Minnie over here and want to pick your hotel, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of the ones you've seen. We'd love to help you out. Thanks so much to Getaway today and Visit Anaheim for hosting, showing us all of these different possibilities so that you can make the best choice you possibly can. When you've picked the one that you do like, give them a call at 855-GETAWAY. Make sure you tell them Ride the Teacup sent you because on top of saving money off of parking, resort fees here and there and fourth day freeze and park tickets and everything else that you can possibly get from these places, you'll save even more if you let them know Ride the Teacups sent you. So don't forget that. Link is always down in the description. Let's go to Disney.